no one expected Chelsea to win the 2021 Champions League. Not the media, football analysts, and especially not betting experts. Maybe they should have listened to the only man who knew what was going to happen. We're talking about N'Golo Kante. If you're an Oh My Goal fan, chances are you love N'Golo Kante. And if you're a Kante fan, then why are you not following us already? Yes, the small man from Paris won everyone's heart a long way back, just as easily as he wins loose balls in the midfield. And while the majority of stories about him revolve around his humbleness and kindness, we've got a new one that is about his cockiness? In a way, bear with us. Edouard Mendy revealed an unheard tale about Kante from the past season in which Chelsea shockingly lifted the UCL. We say shockingly because the odds were not in their favor. Change of manager, a new team assembling, and fiercer competition saw Chelsea as outsiders in the race. Even when they reached the final, the betting tips were in favor of Pep Guardiola's city. But N'Golo would hear none of it. He was sure the title was in the bag from the very first match. Edouard Mendy has recounted the best anecdote of the season, as he labeled it himself. Chelsea were on the road to Stamford Bridge to host Sevilla in the group stage opener. I have the best anecdote of the season. We were traveling with N'Golo, Kurt Zuma, and Olivier Giroud. N'Golo confidently said, Guys, I think this year we will win the Champions League. Yes, I don't know. I have a feeling. The first day. Sometimes it goes like that. You just have to trust your gut feeling. I told him, wait and see how the game went tonight. The game was a tough 0-0 draw, with no clear superiority from either team. At the end of the match, Mendy asked him again. He said, I think we will wait a little bit before we say that. Chelsea topped their group, one point over Sevilla. And while we're at it, here's a little quiz for you. Who did Chelsea and Sevilla share the group with? Leave your answer in the comments. Then proceeded to eliminate three Champions League winners on their way to the final. Atletico Madrid in the round of 16, Porto in the quarterfinals, and Real Madrid in the semis. The title-winning match was a 1-0 victory over Manchester City. Arguably, the side that played the most beautiful football that season got tied up by Chelsea. And the reason behind it was the MVP, N'Golo Kante. If he's good enough to stop Messi, he can stop virtually anyone. Of course, Kante highlighted the collective win and how the togetherness of Chelsea brought them the title. Could we say Conte's prediction was a sign of cockiness? If Cristiano Ronaldo says he's going to win the Premier League, we take it as his natural behavior and expect him to prove he's right. When Zlatan makes such a statement, first we laugh, then we see him scoring goals with his poker face, and then we worry. How could he keep getting away with this? Both Chris and Ibra are footballers with enormous egos, even if it is backed up by their talent, hard work, and results. Their winning mentality comes from their belief of superiority. But we can't say the same about Kante. Kante is a different type of winner, one that's all about positivity. Who could have guessed Leicester would win the Premier League? Maybe Kante knew it already. Chelsea even interviewed the Frenchman and asked him a key question, if he ever gets tired. Of course I get tired. Even if you're tired, sometimes you just have to go for it and make a difference going forward. So sometimes you're tired, but it's all about mentality. Conte's winning mentality is about never giving up, always believing in your own sacrifice, and above all, believing in your team. Conte, by definition, lives the motto that there is no I in team. No, no one could argue Conte was being cocky when he felt Chelsea would win the Champions League. In any case, it must have been about the team spirit. For a man who praises the collective above all else, he surely is the best at judging the cohesiveness and the bonding of the squad. That team spirit goes a long way. A unified group can win over a more gifted team on any given day. Conte might be small and a bit of a cheat, but he's one enormous champion. We all know it, and Golo Conte is just different to the rest of footballers. And we've covered this extensively. In this video, you can find seven moments in which Conte proved he's just built differently.